What's up, YouTube? Angry Jackalope. Rob Ricks. Sorry, I'm a little bit late. <clears throat> I have uh, family in town. We were out having dinner and stuff. Ran a little bit late, but I am here. Yo, yo, what's up, Tenchi? Tenchi, Arizona in the his house. <clears throat> Let me get all my stuff ready here. Better late than never, right? That's what I always say. So you can, uh, what's up, green man? Good to see you. Good to see you. A little bit late, a little tardy, but uh, as I was saying, better late than never. So uh, just wanted to, oh, we got Nomadic Hunter. What's up, Jay? What's up, JJ? Jeremy Lawler. Nada. I'm feeling a little bit better. I'm still a little sick. <clears throat> I'm almost done. I shouldn't be coughing in ear as much as I did the other day. So that's a good thing. I got, I got uh, quite a bit of stuff to cover. So without further ado, let's get it started. What's up, Wolf? What's up, Wolf? Wolf's in the house? Yeah, yeah. Let's talk survival. How's it, brother? Good to see you. Oh, yeah, we're getting, we're rocking and rolling. We're rocking and rolling. We off to the, we off to the races. We off to the races. So I still cannot, <clears throat> I still cannot, uh, yeah, I'm definitely sick in the head. I still can't do any, uh, alcohol because i'm still doing my meds but you can see i'm done this is my last this is my last little bit of my meds right here so i'm gonna go take my meds real quick <clears throat> that way i can mitigate any coughing that's it we're done with meds meds are done done finito jeff luca what's up brother Oh, good, Sonny. I'm glad to hear it. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff. I got a lot of stuff, guys. Let's jump right into the news. Let's get all the, let's get all the negative crap out of the way first, shall we? So, on the bottom, uh, underneath the stream here, there's a bunch of links and stuff like that. That's right. Heroin injection by the mouth. Nah. Anyway, um, there is a lot. Chris. Chris is in the house. What's up, brother? So, there's a lot of stuff going on in the cyber spectrum. And I'm not going to bore you guys, but the ransomware stuff and a lot of the NSA tools, those things are definitely uh, getting a lot of use. And they're starting to make their ways into critical infrastructure. So we might keep an eye on that. Always keep your machine safe. You know, it is what it is. Now, in that same vein, I don't know if you guys have been watching HP's ads lately. HP has some crazy, crazy no, dude, not even Anonymous. Anonymous is actually kind of, you know, th they're, they're somewhat neutral. They don't usually jump in and do a bunch of crazy stuff unless, you know, they, there's a cause behind it, okay? But I'm talking about some of these other groups that don't really have, don't really have a, uh, uh, a moral fiber. These guys are doing ransomware attacks, but they're using these ransomware attacks as a, uh, kind of a distractionary measure. And then what they're doing is they're slipping these things in some of these uh, cyber attacks are actually pretty brilliant. They're doing data mining for cryptocurrencies and stuff. And so they infect your machine. And if your machine's running slow and you're trying to figure out what's going on, you do control delete to see what's going on. The programs are savvy enough. That's right. I said savvy love. They're savvy enough to shut itself down when it sees that the task manager is running. We got a lot of sophisticated stuff happening here. That's a little bit on the spooky side. So let's keep an eye on that. But HP is also addressing that because some of the compromises that happen inside of networks come from benign objects like printers. So there's a link there. HP is killing it with their ads. They got Christian Slater in there. He's the wolf. He's putting it down. And it's amazing. I tell you, it is absolutely amazing. You know, this is him right here in his persona. And if you guys are familiar with, um, oh, what is that? Uh, Mr. Robot. You know, he plays the alter ego of this uber hacker dude, but it's awesome though. It's it's a, it's a it's good ads, it's good marketing, and I'm anyway. So check that out. Uh, moving along, earlier this week, Russia went gonzo, fired six cruise missiles on ISIS target in Syria. They got good footage of it. RT has it. There's a link there. It's short, it's sweet, and you can see them rocking and rolling. And it lights my heart up when I see these boats just blowing up stuff. It's amazing. Check that shit out. Now, keeping things going. Ten things that will happen after the imminent economic collapse. 
2017 stock market crash. Uh, this video that I had there was actually pretty damn interesting. It had, oh, look, I'm, I'm behind on my pictures. There's, a, there's the, the after effects of Russia uh, bombing some stuff from a boat. And then we were talking about the collapse. Look at that. Crash. Um, this video is actually pretty good. Uh, it had a lot of good things in there that talked about some logical things that could happen after an economic collapse. So I de uh, definitely, definitely highly recommend you guys check that shit out. And then Yellowstone has been a rumbling. I don't know if you guys have been following that, but I've been following that with a very anxious eye because uh, out of all of my scenarios, Yellowstone popping its cork is one that I hope I never see in my lifetime. It's inevitable that that bad boy is going to pop. But when it does, it's going to be a bad day. It's going to be a super, super bad day. Super volcanoes are no joke. And Yellowstone is one of the biggest one. And they were having some earthquakes in certain regions there that were over 4.5. 4 so there's a lot of regional activity going on there. A lot of uh, magma flow that's starting to be picked up and everything. So hopefully what's happening is Yellow, Yellowstone is just stretching a little bit going, that's it. You know, I'm, I'm hoping that's all it is. So we'll keep an eye on that, see what happens there. Now, I don't know if you guys were following this chick right here. That's an ugly chick. She, she looked like a damn character. She looked like, she looked like a human form of one of those minions. You know, just shave off her head. She's a fucking minion. Look at her. Look at she should roll with Groot from, uh, <laughs> I mean, look at the kitty. I'm, I'm trying to, trying to be serious here. This bitch is killing me. Anyway, this chick right here, 17 years old. Check this out. She was texting her boyfriend to kill himself. Okay. And she, she sent a barrage of texts to him. Kill yourself, kill yourself, kill yourself. And he did. He killed himself. She was convicted of manslaughter. From texting so that is uh, a pretty interesting thing so I linked to an article uh, so anybody who has kids teenage kids you want to educate their asses to let them know you know what sometimes some hurtful shit you say can land you in some serious shit so if you're telling your boyfriend you know what fuck you should kill yourself and he does you could get in trouble because this case right here sets a precedent so it's not something that you know people should be kind of eh, whatever because this bitch right here She's going to jail. All right, so let's get into the entertainment stuff now. So there's a movie uh, coming out called I Am Dragon, and I saw the trailer for it, and, you know, the box here says Game of Thrones meets Beauty and the Beast, and I agree with the Beauty and the Beast part a little bit, but uh, Real Life Crime Show last Saturday, Robert Wolf said, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's getting a lot of press. That thing's getting a ton of press. So it's one of those things you kind of want to, like I said, if you got teenage kids or young kids that are using texting as, a, as a, a battle tool, they need to be careful of that. So I saw the trailer for this thing, and, you know, this thing says Game of Thrones meets Beauty and the Beast. I'm like, yeah, I saw a little bit of Beauty and the Beast in there, but I thought it was more Lady Hawk. Heath in the house. What's up, brother? So... I'm kind of looking at this show right here like, eh, you know what? Beauty and the Beast meets Lady Hawk. Man, eh, I'll check it out. You know, it might be cheesy. It might suck, but, you know, I'll definitely see it when it goes. Uh, let's see here. Oh, you guys are going to love this one. Check this shit out. Annabelle 2. Holy hell, that's a whole lot of nope right there. So, Annabelle, you know, oh, come on, man. Work with me here, Annabelle. There she is. Annabelle, the first one, <clears throat> was uh, kind of a creepy-ass show. I ain't gonna lie. It was kind of creepy. But this trailer here looks amazing. It looks really good. Like, I'm actually really excited to see this Annabelle 2 when it pops off. And I think they're doing a pretty good job with the whole mythology that they're putting behind this. So we'll have to check it out. Another show that I'm excited about that I just can't wait to watch is called American Assassin. Now, you know, it's got um, Michael Keaton in it, and, uh, you know, he's making, his, he's making his rounds. You know, he's in the upcoming new Batman, uh, Spider-Man, sorry, and a couple other things. But this show right here has some serious potential, and this link right there is the Red Band trailer. So the Red Band trailer shows you just how gonzo and crazy this particular movie is going to be. So I'm excited. 
Now, on the topic of Gonzo, HBO has agreed to do a series for Watchmen. Now, I'm, one of the, I'm probably one of the few people that really, really, really enjoyed the Watchmen. I thought it was great. I really, really like, um, I like, uh, what is it, um, um, Manhattan. Uh, the chick was cool, but uh, uh, Ro- was it Rorschach? I always I have a hard time saying his name. The dude with the patterns on his face. He always talks like this. I'm not stuck in here with you. You're stuck in here with me. That guy. That dude was badass. So, you know, of course, at the end of the movie, I'm not going to spoil it, but if you know, if you watched it, you understand what means. But uh, hopefully this takes place before Rorschach. See, I still can't say it. You typed in Rorschach. 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 Sack. Rorschach. 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 Bag face. I'm just going to call him bag face, okay? Anyway, I'm really excited about it. It looks like, you know, it's on HBO. So if it's going to be on HBO, it's going to be hardcore, right? If they did this on some other stuff, you know, whatever. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> Wolf, thanks for leading us on the blood drive. This tweet is better than even advertised over the top. Does a couple of, you know what? Thank you, brother. I agree with that. We have a couple of, coming up, some of the brothers that, that are come on the show here. They didn't like it. Me, I was like, this is so over the top, splatter fest, craziness, insanity. Like, I can't wait. You know, they're going to come out with an unrated DVD version because they'd be throwing a whole lot of them little black boxes everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my Lord crazy but yeah blood drive is was definitely over the top fun i i'm enjoying that immensely uh thank you for bringing it up i meant to actually talk about it this particular stream here but i had all this other stuff to talk about that i I just ran out of time you know what i'm saying now moving on to you know a galaxy far far away we got han solo right so han solo was coming out it had a couple of directors out working with it it was looking pretty good but the directors bowed out They said, you know, we have creative differences. We're not digging the way it's flowing. We want to do it a certain way. The studio's not digging it. We're going to step away. Basically, they got canned. But who did they bring in as a replacement director? We got Ron Howard. Mr. Ron Howard, Opie, Richie Cunningham, for all you old school Gs like me. He's a good good director. He's a good director. Will Will he bring goodness to it? I think so. I think so. I think Han Solo's going to be good. And, and I like him as a director, so I'm not upset. It's not like they went and got some cheese dick director that does, like, a lot of, uh, you know, uh, over-the-top explosions constantly. Transformers, uh, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, I think Han Solo is still in good hands, and we'll see what's up. Now, I had the pleasure of watching. If you guys are, uh, follow the link that I gave for this next on Oats, I talked about Oats before, okay? The Oats, oh, my God, this, this bit right here is really really good they're doing a really good job with it and i am thrilled you know it had uh Sigourney weaver in there she's rocking down. michael bay thank you very much tenchi that's exactly who i was alluding to but if we're gonna throw names out fuck it michael bay michael bay boom explosions 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 you know yeah whatever we'll go past that but this right here rock and roll now the other thing that i caught while i was collecting news for this week is just when you thought it was done hello I'd like to play a game with you. Jigsaw. Yes, right. Jigsaw's back. So we got another. We got another one of these bad boys dropping Halloween. So if you're not ready for it, you need to get ready for it. You know, the shows are kind of eh. But this one is going to deal with something specific to Jigsaw. And I love the traps. I love the elaborate nature of things. I love the visceral nastiness that those shows bring out. So I'm looking forward to it. So we'll see what rock and rolls with that one. Now, let's move on to uh, one of the things that I'm quite excited about, South Park, the fractured butthole. See how I did it? So I I paused so that it didn't have the connotation that they wanted. So if you say it fast, South Park, the fractured butthole. You see what I'm saying? It has that different connotation. But if you guys did not see the E3, if you guys did not see the E3 footage of this game, oh, my God. That's all I got to say. Don't don't watch it if you got little tender eyes or anything else because this is insanity. So I got some really good footage down there from uh, E3. Yeah, I bought that thing back in November, and then it got pushed away. And so I'm like, ah, I've been chomping at the bit waiting to play it. But this does not look like it's going to disappoint. It looks like 
insanity. Now, I want to touch on a movie here real quick. I had a I had the pleasure of, and I do mean pleasure because I enjoyed it, of watching Tom Cruise the Mummy, and it caught a lot of slack from the critics, and a lot of people were upset. And you know, for me personally, uh, I liked it. I liked it a lot because I went in with no expectations, and I wanted to see just kind of a throwback to some old school horror. And I thought it was pretty good. I thought Tom Cruise did a good job. I thought the mummy chick was sometimes hot, sometimes not. But, you know, sometimes she definitely needed a tic-tac. But, you know, it was a good show. It was very entertaining. And I like the fact that Universal's doing their own dark universe. And they've got, you know, other things lined up. There was a couple of Easter eggs in there. Like when you go through Dr. Jekyll's lab, you actually see things like, the creature from the Black Lagoon's hand. You see a vampire skull. So you see them alluding to some of the other properties that they have access to. They got the Wolfman. They got vamp, uh, Dracula, uh, creature from the Black Lagoon, Frankenstein, uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. So it'll be interesting to see how they tie it all together. A lot of people weren't digging the ending. I thought the ending was a good twist. I thought, you know, like typically they give you there's an A option or a B option. But, you know, that's what it was. Uh, Greenman says, my parents did not enjoy that movie. You know, I think a lot of people went in there with certain expectations. And, I, you know, that's one of the problems when people watch things like trailers, for example. The trailers will give you a feel that you're going to go watch something else. Then you go watch it, and it's like, dude, this is nothing like the trailer. And that's why I always try to tell people, if there's a movie you're going to watch, don't worry about, oh, God, Greenman, did I see Wonder Woman? So Greenman asked the question, did I see Wonder Woman? Wonder Woman! Yes, I saw Wonder Woman. And all I got to say, out friggin' standing. Loved it. I loved, oh my God, Wonder Woman was great. All the people that were talking all that smack about my girl, man, you need to stop. She was, she was, she was amazing. Loved it. Loved it, loved it, loved it. I would gladly watch uh, a, 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 a double header. Deadpool, then take a little break, you know, go eat lunch, come back, watch Wonder Woman, go take a break, you know, go eat dinner or something, go watch Deadpool again. Go, you know, and then watch Wonder Woman. Like, I enjoyed it. It, it. it falls into that pattern. I enjoyed it immensely. I thought that movie was done incredibly well. There were some people that, you know, hey, Wonder Woman is not supposed to be that strong. Wonder Woman this, Wonder Woman. I'm like, who cares? I loved it. Loved it. Loved it. I thought it was amazing. Wonder Woman was awesome. Now, let's talk about some stuff that's happening on TV now. I had the pleasure. Last night, me and my daughter hung out. We watched the first three episodes of... Ba-bum. Stephen King's The Mist. Now, this is a loose adaptation of a novella that Stephen King did back in the day called The Mist. And there was already a movie that popped out 2007, 2008, which I was really upset. When I watched that movie, got to the end of it, and Homeboy and his family did what they did, I was like, man, ain't no way that would have happened to me. Ain't no way that would have happened to me. You know, granted, it was a bad situation, but I did not like the way that movie ended. Now, I walked into this, this TV series thinking, you know what? I really hope and pray this is going to be better than the movie. And I could, I could tell you guys, it's, there are some parallels, but there's also a lot of difference. A lot of differences. Now, let's go ahead and change some of these graphics here so we can talk about some of the stuff a little bit. This chick right here is the mom. <sighs> yeah, exactly, Greenman. Horrible, 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 horrible. Tenshi, I'm agreeing with you on that. Wonder Woman's the only thing I liked about Batman vs. Superman and Dawn of Justice. I actually liked that. Dawn of Justice wasn't too bad for me. I didn't really care to. I wasn't one of the folks that was like, oh, my God, I, I hated it like so much. But Wonder Woman, when she hit the scene, that was like epicness, beyond epicness. But, yeah, see, exactly, Wolf. Loved everything about the Mist, the movie, all the way through till that bullshit ending. That ending was fucking horrible. Horrible. Now, I didn't read the book. Maybe it's true to the book. But if I was directing it, and I'm like, okay, in the book, it ended this way. He went out like a sucker. No, no, no. I would have changed it up, okay? I would have changed it up. Now, this chick right here, this mean, sadistic look at woman right here, that kind of sums up the mist. Everybody in that damn show are assholes or they're loony. And I don't know, again, if that was something that Stephen King wrote into the story, but I got to tell you, there was so much uh, Islamophobe, uh, homosexual hatred, this, that, everything else. Um, yeah, Matt. That, yeah, I was trying not to spoil it in case anybody waited 10 years to watch that show. But yeah, 
he popped, he popped the wife and the kid, and then the, the troops show up at the end, and he's like literally 30 seconds away from being saved. You know what I'm saying? But uh, everything in this show, the first episode, me and my daughter were mad. We're like, Dude, what the, why are so many people mean? Why are there so many assholes in this damn show? You know, and only one character, one character, homeboy right here. One of the main characters. He is the only one in the show I like. Okay, Greenman. He's the only one I like. All the other characters have no redeeming qualities. They, they all are disposable fodder. You know what I mean? And, and I was like really upset after the first episode. But we pushed on because I had three episodes. You know what I'm saying? We had three episodes and I'm like, you know what? I, it's my duty to report the duty. If it's duty, duty, and it stinks, I got to let you know, okay? I got to let you know. All right, so anyway, we, uh, we watched a second episode. Well, at, at first, I will tell you if, you've, if you, if you painfully watch through the first episode, there is a brilliant, brilliant part near the end there that saves it, saves that episode. There's a part in there, and I'm not going to spoil it for you. There's a part in there that happens at the end of the first episode that put a smile on my face. Put a smile on my face. Me and my daughter both are like, hell yeah, that was awesome. So the second episode, things get a little bit better. They get a little bit more interesting. But the pacing's kind of slow. And but as it is, there is some psychological stuff that messes with you. Like you don't know what's going on and it and it, and it, and it gets you. It gets you. There's a couple of spots. Me and my daughter kind of got jump scared. You know, we're like, ooh, ooh, you know, ooh. You know, audio on it was really good. Audio on it was really good. Some of the reveals was pretty good. And then we got to episode three, and, you know, it continued on. But again, uh, it, it really wasn't really wasn't super gratifying. We watched it, and we were kind of like, all right, all right. And we, we decided we will keep watching it. But now we kind of have to wait because, you know, we watched the first three episodes, but they're, they're airing them one, one a week. So we got two more weeks. After the third week, we'll be able to watch that next episode. So there's 10 episodes slotted for the mist. We got to see the first three, and it's not a stinky pile of poo, but it's not super great. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I would love to see a Convergence 2012 movie or Netflix series. Uh, for that matter, I'd love to see a, a Magic Really Sucks uh, series as well. But uh, anyway, now, I did come across... Another little tidbit of goodness. I found a conspiracy channel that I really, really dig. I dig it. I dig it. I dig it. I want to share it with you guys real quick. Let's go ahead and go into the conspiracy corner. All right, so we are back with the conspiracy corner, and we're gonna talk about some MK Ultra. MK Ultra, what's up? Drop for survival. Why? Thank you, thank you very much. So we're gonna talk a little bit about MK Ultra. Now I got a link down there. Um, I forgot the name of the channel, but I got on there and I started binge watching some of this chick stuff. And I gotta tell you. I love the way she formats. I love the way she discusses things. I mean, this, this, she knows her stuff, okay? She knows her stuff. And I am very, very impressed. And she did this piece where she talked about MK Ultra and she put some knowledge there that I had not considered. And I was like, well, now, isn't that just biffy? So I invite you guys to go check her out. Very interesting channel. I got the link down below, you know, but a little disclaimer to my brothers. If you are not conspiracy minded, do not follow these links. This is a warning. I talk a little bit about stuff like 9-11, talk a little bit about MK Ultra. I talk a little bit about this, a little bit about that. But I got to warn you, do not go down that rabbit hole because that rabbit hole is deep and deadly and scary. And if you do do that, hey, don't say I didn't fucking warn you. That's all I got to say about that. That's all I got to say about that. And that's they ain't nothing else to say. That sounds about right. True stream media. Yeah, that sounds right. But um, 
definitely cool stuff, man. Definitely cool stuff. She does a really good job. I like the way she does her stuff. She presents it pretty well. You know, there's a couple other channels that I like to go to and check out from time to time. I like Dabu7. Uh, he's not all conspiracy, but he definitely talks about uh, some 9-11 stuff, things of that nature. Uh, you know, I've been doing a lot of weird research lately because I'm writing a book and the book has taken me in some weird directions. So I had to go and do some fact checking and some stuff like that, make sure I'm representing some of the conspiracy groups correctly, things of that nature. But definitely some fun, fun stuff. You know what I mean? I like the the, the conspiracy things because for me, it's kind of interesting. It's kind of fun. And it's like, hmm, isn't in the grand scheme of things, is it feasible? You know what, Heath? I don't know. She might be. Yep, I like Secure Team 10, definitely for the UFO stuff. Secure Team 10, he's, he's, I like the way he presents his information, too, because, you know, he'll throw stuff out there and say, well, you know, I don't know, it could be kind of, oh, best movies in theaters right now. You know what? Let's check that out real quick. Let me, uh, let me see what's out right this second. I'm going to go to uh, movies. I think it's movies.com, right? Let's see, is it movies.com in theaters right now? Oh, my Lord. Uh, Baby Boss. Eh, Transformer the last night. Refused to watch that. I'll wait for that. Uh, the Beguiled. I have no idea what the fuck that is. Cars 3. Hmm. I might watch that, but I'm not too interested in it. 47 meters down. That looks interesting. I would watch that, but not. Eh, I'm not really looking forward to it. All eyes on me. I would definitely watch that because I am a Tupac fan. So. You know, I'm down with that. Uns, uh, let's see here. My cousin Rachel, no idea what that is. It comes at night. I have seen that trailer quite a few times, and it was trippy, trippy, trippy as hell. Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales. That was fun. That was a fun fucking movie. We watched that. We really enjoyed it. That was a good time. Wonder Woman, by far, that's got my vote thus far as the best movie out right this second. Okay. Uh, Captain Underpants, haven't watched it, not interested in watching it. The Mummy, I watched it. I thought it was decent. I'm not going to say it was absolutely stellar. Baywatch, I want to see Baywatch hella bad. That shit looks like I'm going to laugh my ass off from beginning to end. It just looks, it just looks amazing. It looks funny. Uh, everything, everything. I don't know what that is. Diary of a Wimpy Kid, The Long Haul. My kids used to really be into that. Uh, we don't watch that now. Absolutely anything. No idea what that is. The wall. The wall looks really intriguing and mind fucky. Like, it looks like, oh my God, dude, what the fuck is going to go on? If that, yeah, yeah, that's the sniper one. That's the one I'm talking about. The wedding plan, eh. Snatched. Oh, yeah. Goldie Hawn. Uh, Amy Schumer. No, no interest in watching that. Lowriders. I didn't even know what that was. I didn't even know that was out. I'm, I'm going to pass on that. The diner is going to pass on that. Max 2. White House Hero, and eh, no, pass. Guardians of the Galaxy Two. That was a good time. That was a good fucking movie. Uh, and I hate to say it because I'm a Marvel fan. I think Wonder Woman eked it out. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy was a close fucking second though because that was really fucking good. And I do know that that's still out right now. Let's see. And I think I'm getting near the end here. Uh, the Circle. That was a good movie if you're a techie person and you're also kind of nervous about the way social new median shits going let's see here free fire that was something that looked interesting but i didn't get a chance to watch any of that phoenix forgotten i wanted to see that as an alien movie uh the lost city of z eh, no not interested in that so yeah so that's that's i think that's all the movies that are out right now uh i did see fate of the furious recently and that came out earlier this year so I don't think that's still out in the movie theaters at all, but that was actually pretty good. I figured out the twist like right in the very beginning there. Uh, but yeah, that, that one was actually pretty entertaining as hell. Fate of the Furious. All right. So let's, that's it. I think I answered that question. Let's see here. Just found a dead lizard in my fan. Uh, well, you know, you should have smelled that before. <laughs> uh, the Beguiled is a remake of the Gothic Civil War drama to start Clint Eastwood. Oh, you know, I never saw the uh, original Clint Eastwood one, so I didn't know about that. Pirates was really good, though, mate. Seriously, that was fucking a good time. I enjoyed the shit out of it. Uh, oh, good. So you did see 47 meters down. Okay, so Mat Nomadic said that was pretty good. That that That's a double header, right? Because one, it plays on the fear of vamp uh, not vampires, on uh, sharks, but it also plays on the fear of suffocating and running out of air. 
two things that a lot of people are terrified of. If I had to pick, though, suffocating or getting eaten by a shark, I think I'd go and get eaten by a shark just so eventually the shark would digest me and shit me out, and I could co- I'd be like in heaven or somewhere saying, dude, I got ate by a shark. Shark shit me out. That was pretty fucking awesome. Uh, let's see. What else is there? Uh, uh, found that lizard one dollar theaters. Yeah, dollar theaters are great. They still make a good margin on the popcorn and stuff like that. Um, yeah, Alien or Mummy. Oh, the Alien one. Oh, dude, Aliens, the Prometheus uh, Aliens, uh, Aliens Covenant. You know that was good. Okay, that's good if you're not an Alien fan. Okay. If you watch Prometheus and you have Prometheus by itself and you watch this as a sequel, Ridley Scott is amazing. He's amazing with his vision. He's amazing the way he shoots things. The audio on that was really good. Uh, it was, you know, that was, that was awesome. Uh, yeah, Tenchi, thank you very much for that. Uh, Matt, shark hands down. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because it's kind of like, shit, I'll go out. Bleed myself real quick. Let the sharks go into feeding frenzy. If I get lucky, shit, maybe I have like 10 sharks have pizzas of me in them. That'd be great. It'd be real fun if you're, if you're dead. You're like, okay, the fucking thing ate me. I'm going to try to possess them. You go and possess 10 sharks and then take them 10 sharks and go wreck havoc somewhere. That would be like really interesting. That's really peculiar. I don't know why these 10 sharks just decided to jump out of the water and do like water ballet and stuff like that. It was really intriguing. I don't understand what's going on here. Look at that great white right there. He's saying... Fish are friends, not food. <laughs> so, you know, basically, that's my show, guys. That's everything that I have planned and I looked out and everything else. I will talk a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. I will talk a little bit. That was nasty. I just realized I fucking <laughs> snorted right in front of you guys. <laughs> I'm a pig. <laughs> pig egg. But uh, I, I, will, I will say uh, this sickness had me ass whooped. So I, you know, I feel better now. I got a little more energy in me, but I mean, look, I mean, I'm still, I'm still bushy. I need to shave, clean up and everything else. I'm still bushwhacked, but at least my energy is back. I'm feeling a little bit better. And, uh, you know, probably by the next, by the next episode, uh, I, I will be back in the full swing of things and get some other stuff done. Uh, the book is, the book is doing very well, by the way. Uh, the first book's done. I'm 105 pages into the second book, so roughly the second book. I'm a little, a little bit. I'm probably about 25 percent there. The second book's going to end up being a little bit bigger than the first book, I think. Uh, Tom Sawyer, man, you missed the whole damn show, brother. <laughs> we talked about cyber attacks. We talked about uh, you know Hewlett Packard ads. We talked about Russia. We talked about uh, imminent crash. We talked about Yellowstone. We talked about uh, tweeting and, you know, uh, texting somebody with threats and then they die and then you get, you know, liable for it. Entertainment side, we talked about I Am Dragon. We talked about Annabelle 2. We talked about American Assassin. We talked about the Watchmen TV series coming on HBO. We talked about Star Wars directors getting fired and then Ron Howard jumping in and taking a helm. We talked about Oat Studios, Volume 1's. <laughs> we talked about Saw 8 coming out this uh, uh, winter. We talked about South Park, the fractured butthole. We talked about the mummy. We talked about conspiracy MK Ultra. There you go. I think that covers everything. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there's another snort. Uh, let's see here. Jerry Rob, human sating. So, you know, I, I, gotta, I gotta put up the facade. People have to think I'm a human being because if they didn't, I'd be on a lab table being dissected. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Tom said I was busy making a twain. Tookity twain, tookity twain. So anyway, that's it. Look at that. I, I covered all of that shit in about 34 minutes. I think that's a speed record. I really do. I think I that is tore ass on that shit. Like, like ridiculous. Let me see something real quick. Yeah. That was it. Oh, I will share some... Uh, must be signed for more pig heads to slay. Yeah, you know, I have, I have, uh, oh shit, I have a lot of those to do. And the sad thing is, it's hot as Satan's balls right now. And um, when I was down at St. George, I was in the pool with my son. And I was throwing them around and I tweaked the shit out of my wrists. And I thought by now the shit would heal up, but it fucking hurts. It fucking hurts. So I've been rehabilitating the arms and stuff like that so I could do my chopping the way I need to. 
But um, my daughter goes, well, Dad, I could do it. I'm like, honey, no offense. I'm, I'm happy to let you try. But them fucking pig heads is hard. Like, I have to give it. I have a waylay on that bitch. You know what I'm saying? I hit, oh, 121. Fucker, you're in Arizona. You're in Arizona or somewhere near for 121. Maybe New Mexico. My internet twitched. Oh, that's fine. You can go back and watch, catch up on it on the other stuff. No big deal. But, um, yeah, so I got a lot of chopping I got to get done. I got about five blades I need to take care of. That's what I thought, motherfucker. I knew he was somewhere like that because that's the only places that I reported last week. I was seeing uh, 120 plus temperatures. Woo! Oh, man. I do not envy you at all because that is not fun. That is not fun. I got air conditioner running nonstop. Let's see here. Need us need to stop all that tapping, Rob. What am I tapping? What am I tapping? Did I tap something? Is it like this? Did I tap? tap did I gotta tap it? What I tap? What I tap? I don't know what I was tapping. Oh, fappy! <laughs> you fucker! <laughs> I wish I could, though. All honesty, it's fucked up. Can't do it. I got to use two hands for that shit. <laughs> but I'm ready. So there's a knife like this where I have little ring finger and stuff, and I could just hold on to it. No problem. I could do cuts. I could do stabs. Uh, 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 uh. I could do that all day, every day. But this, ain't, this is light. This this don't weigh shit. Fuck it, El Chete. My lords. My lords. Shit's heavy as fuck. Had to send one of my guys home. He was dizzy every time he said, oh shit, heat stuff, man. Guess who's back? Greenman's back. Tell a friend. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Greenman's back. So yeah, I feel good. Um... Next week, I can start drinking again because I won't have these heavy-duty narcotics on board. Uh, you know, I don't want to fucking die. So I'll be cold, chilling, relaxing. So I'll be finding some tasty beverages next week to uh, partake in. Right now, the only thing I've been really drinking, other than cough syrup, water. I mean, this is the wise man drink, but it's not as fun. It's not as elegant as alcohol. What can I do, you know? Cheers, motherfuckers. Now, I will tell you this. <clears throat> My kids were really cool. For Father's Day, <clears throat> my wife bought me a hat. Update from the Tenchi Zone for you, Rob. What are you talking about, dude? Pulling me away here? Oh, no, I don't know. I didn't get that. Yeah, cold water is good. Cold water is good. All right, so <clears throat> I got this. My daughter got me old Punisher, Frank Castle. Oh, he's fucking mad. Look how fucking mad he is. Gangs, I wanted the one with the Punisher, uh, with the, the uh, Daredevil helmet, but that's all cool. Squeeze a uh, half lemon in your glass. Water. Yeah, you know what? Lemon makes, makes it delicious. You know what else I like to put in my water? I like to put cucumbers in there. I either think that was fucking stupid, but cucumbers is delicious in water. I don't know if you guys ever tried it, especially if the water is icy fucking cold. Woo! That's where it's at, especially if you've gone for a while. And, uh, oh, see, that's awesome, dude. Good job, Matt. You know, especially if uh, you've been cutting out the soda and you haven't been banging on a soda for a little bit and you get your, your taste buds kind of normalized back to normal levels so you could taste subtle things and you drink water with cucumber in it is awesome. It's awesome. Attacks on London delayed visa medical. They said they're now being moved out of London and are said for August 16th. Interview should be same day. Oh, okay. So that's your, your update <clears throat> on uh, getting over to America. Um, yeah, watermelon's good too. Woo. I like that shit. Got to let it sit overnight, infused H2O, most definitely. I tell you, you know, if, if, 
if you get stuck and you're like, man, I gotta, I gotta, uh, 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 I gotta get, uh, well, cause we're old green men. I'm old as fuck. So sometimes I got to talk about my health shit. Cause you know, if I'm not healthy, I'm not swinging them big ass knives. But, uh, if you want here, how about this? Well, I'm talking about water and stuff. I will also do stuff like this. I'll show off some blades. So this is excess Delta <clears throat> tops. This is a folding blade that uh, my wife got me a couple years back that I absolutely love. Way overbuilt, super duper strong. The blade thickness on this is redonkulous, et cetera, et cetera. Now I show this off, I'm going to go ahead and continue talking about water. So I like uh, watermelon in there. I like some stuff where, you know, you get some of the natural sweetness from the fruit and stuff like that. Because I tell you what, water sometimes gets like way fucking boring for me. And I need a little variation in my stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because otherwise I go fucking bananas. Uh, another blade that I will show you is the, uh, this one is the, uh, Shrade. What is this bad boy? This is the Shrade SCH503B. I do like these ones right here. Uh, this is the same blade that if, uh, Drop Force Survival is still on a channel, he actually broke the liner lock on it. It didn't, uh, didn't hold, but Shrade went back to the drawing board and they actually reinforced and redid the uh the release mechanism in there which is a, a good attestment on trades part you know good job on them going back and actually trying to make things stronger you know what i'm saying let's see here big man bowie what holy shit brother i have not seen you in a fucking minute in a minute 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 so i'll go ahead and keep showing off some blades that i have nearby here so that way to the folks that like to see blades and stuff can see stuff while we're talking about other shit. So this is my, I call this my uh, Moana blade because Moana, Moana, you're welcome. So this is a uh, tracker digger and I like this form factor on it and it's pretty slick, really hefty, beefy. This is definitely going to be one that I'm going to be plunging into some pig heads, trying out, seeing what I could do with it. I love the pommel on this bad boy. So it should be fun. We'll, we'll have some good times with it. You know what I'm saying? We'll have some really good, good times in there. Exactly. Exactly. Pornographers for knife. Mm-hmm. That's right. Let me show you the money shot. Mm, yeah, it's the money shot. All right. So we got that one. What else we got here? <clears throat> we got, uh, we got, uh, uh, oh, you know, um, this is a blade. Well, wow, this is an oldie, but a goodie. I can't believe this one's sitting here. This one right here, <clears throat> this one right here is from a company called Southern Grind. <clears throat> and uh, this one is made from a big-ass saw. So you make it from a big-ass saw, uh, and then, blam, this uber light, super strong. You can even see, you see this line right here, right up there? Woo! That's part of the uh, curvature of the actual saw blade. You know what I'm saying? Oh, dude, oh, you know what? Check this out, Green. You, 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 you're joking, but look, I actually have, I actually went and turned this into a neck knife. I'm going to take the other knife off here. Moana. Oh, yeah. They said it could not be done, but I do it, man. I have the tracker digger. As the neck knife. That's right. I just grab it like this. I pull it a little tighter. A little bit tighter. And get it up here. Ooh. Booyah. There you go. What's up, man? What's up? What's up, man? Don't make me pull my track of digger, man. Feel me? Don't make me do it. Where's that? There it is. So, yeah, I've done it. I've done it. <laughs> I did it. I did. I did. Uh, when I first got this, I told Craig over at Tops, I said, man, I'm going to turn this into a neck knife. And he laughed at me. He said, dude, you're not going to do that. I said, Shh, watch me. And I did. It's heavy. I'm not going to lie, but it's not heavier than my fully tricked out neck knife. Here, let me grab that. I'll grab my fully tricked out neck knife. And you can see what I'm talking about. Ugh. This one right here be my fully tricked out neck knife, man. You see, I got a battering. I got my light. I got my little morale patch there of Hydra 
on the back side. I got a little lighter. I got the flashlight again. And boom. Bam. Yeah, this is not as heavy. It's not as heavy. You like that? Ah, Venom. Venom! And this one, of course, is <clears throat> ice. Ice, ice, baby. Doom, 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 it took me it took me a second to catch Browse. Took me a second. What's up, Roy? Roy, my brother, of course what? What is of course? I message you, tell you I do this late. I tell you I run late, but I let you know. Jeremy Hale Hydra. Especially you know the Captain America's Hydra. You know, Captain America's Hydra. You didn't know that shit, huh? Double double agent. <gasps> what? Nah, it's not naturally that way. They did that with the, uh, that big ass cosmic cube thingy. Of course, I come in and you're playing with it. Hey, man, I, I, you know what? Before I was sitting there, I was talking about water. I was talking about health things. You could play Green Man, man. Green Man was like, dude, we're talking about nice big knives and now you're talking about water. Hey, man, you know, I gotta, I gotta keep people happy. So I was talking about water and I was showing off knives and stuff like that. But of course, come on now. You know, we, we we also talk about blades on this show. You know, we talk about blades on the show. That's how we do. That's how we do. And we also talk about multivitamins that I take. We also talk about medications. We also talk about old man things like, oh, me back. Oh, I can feel the bones. Let's see. Uh, I'm, I'm coming at the end of it. I still have a cough. Um, I have the heavy-duty cough medicine on board right now, Mr. Morris, so... I am feeling much better. I am glad that uh, I am here. Uh, we haven't talked about blades in a long time. Yeah, you know, because normally this show right here, uh, you know what? I think uh, I think I will add some blade, some blade news and shit like that. I think I will. Um, you know what else I like, Green Man? Other than uh, axes too, I like spears. You guys like spears? I like spears. I think spears have a good fun, fun spot. You know, I want to get to the point where I could fucking fling a spear. Like I am, what was his name? The the Brad the Brad Pitt character was it Achilles? Was that was that him? Who had that? Who this was lobbing them spears like a motherfucking madman? You guys know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I got a spear from Shrade. Hang on. I got a spear. From Shred. I can't wait to do something with it. I kind of wish it was, uh, it's not the cough that carries you off. It's the coffin to carry you off in. Yeah. Achilles. There you go. Britney Spears. No, that bitch is crazy. We ain't talking about her. <laughs> but, yes. Yes. I wonder what this can do. I don't know if this can survive a frozen pig hit. I really don't. But I definitely think it's going to be fucking fun to find out. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about here. That's what I'm talking about here. But uh, let's see here. So we got 48 minutes in. We got 12 minutes to go. So let's go ahead and open up with some questions. Anybody got some fucking questions you want to ask for some, go ahead and throw it at me. Let's see. Here. I'd like to see some pole arm action, pole axes, massive war hammers, halberds. You know, war hammers? Holy shit. That could be a lot of fun. Maces? Some other stuff like that. If I can get my hands on some authentically really good solid shit, I think that would be fun. I really do. I'd like to get some of those modern era shit some of these guys are making. Yeah, I've been, you know, I've got a couple cold cold steel uh, blades. I like them. I do think that I'm going to start opening it up and grabbing some other stuff. I've got a few of their machetes. I've got some of their ceramic blades, things of that nature. Um, but yeah, I do want to get some of their bigger items, like some of the swords, some of the other things like that. So yeah, I could definitely see uh, getting some spears, war hammers, and things of that nature. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, Nomadic Hunter, 
Um, I would love to come to Florida and spear some motherfucking hogs. Uh, Zabuza Sword. Okay, I will, Morris. I will take a look at that and see what's up. Same with you, Jeremy. I'll take a look at that Sog Spirit. See what's up with that as well. All right, so we are now 50 minutes in. Last 10 minutes of the fucking show. Matt Hanks, my favorite blade is my scythe blade. Don't fake dick voodoo any more blades. I'm not going to fake dick anything. Anything I fucking stab and do shit with is done. I don't have to do another daughter video. That one's there for the world to see. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to voodoo it with fake dick. Unless there's some asshole that I absolutely fucking hate. And I want to do a video where like I'm chopping his dick off, you know, not in real life, but like, you know, whatever, you know what I mean? Maybe then that might be fun. Line up a fake body throw spears at it, name for its dick, that would be fucking hilarious, I think. Especially if it lopped off the fake dick and it fell on the ground and my dog ate it. That'd be, I think that'd be fucking great. That, I think I might do that. The more I'm sitting there thinking about it, I think it's fucking brilliant. Put a couple of small coconuts down there and some kind of a big-ass sausage, and then just try to spear chuck that shit to lob it off. I think that'd be great. Although, I gotta make sure my dog is nowhere near that at first, because could you imagine if I threw the spear and it bounced and it impaled my dog? Holy shit, that would suck ass. Yeah, that'd be horrible. So anyway, I have a scar on my hand from the spirit. Some Hannibal action. That's right. Anybody who's rude, rude motherfuckers need to be cooked. I agree with Hannibal in that regard. Because you're an asshole, you need to be dealt with. You know? You didn't come up with an expression for like assholes or something. Like, you know what I say? Snitches get stitches. You need something for like dickheads needs deads. I don't know. We got to figure something out so we can do some kind of a mantra as we're hunting down assholes. <laughs> see, I'm telling it's like, see, yeah, Jigsaw set up a spear torture. That's what I'm talking about. Jigsaw is ingenious, especially the ones where there's actually a way to escape. You just have to sacrifice. You know what I'm saying? But when it got to the later episodes, some of those were like, dude, you're not going to ever escape these. These are meant to just fuck you up and still kill you, which was really fucked up. Really horrible thing. So anyway, um, assholes get fucked. Ooh, I don't know, dude. That has some crazy connotations to it. Uh, I don't know. Maybe pussies get fucked. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of trying to fuck assholes. Even, you know, the female persuasion is not my uh, not my first choice. Yeah, definitely. Definitely not my first choice. War pigs were used in ancient warfare to counter against war elephants who feared the squealing pigs and would bolt from battle. The pigs were sometimes, oh, fuck. The pigs were also lit sometimes on fire to enhance this effect. Uh, Green Man, do a knife collection video. Yeah, I could do that. I can, I can lay out all the knives and show what I got. Dickheads get dense. <laughs> Dickheads get dense. <laughs> oh, shit. You guys are twisted fuckers. That's all I got to say about that. That's all I got to say about that. I'm not going to say much more. Oh, that reminds me. I finished watching um, American Gods, and it went from super, super twisted weird to like some actually pretty decent storytelling, and it ended on a pretty good cliffhanger and i i gotta say i really enjoyed american gods it was actually well done it was a really really entertaining ride there so if you guys haven't checked that shit out that one's definitely good roy is one of the folks that didn't really like um blood drive but i, I understood why he didn't like it because there's really not a lot of plot there's really nothing realistic about it and it is so fucking over the top that is horrible, but I love that shit. I do. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm one of those guys that really enjoy that cheese dick shit. So anyway, that was great. Um, Wolf says, I love that series. I'm up to episode four now. Yeah, it gets really, really, really good. Uh, and then as you get through, they do really good. Um, they do really, really good character development. You know what I'm saying? 
That's where the term fast food comes uh, from, Rob, the f- on fire war pigs. Man, you know what? You can light a pig on fire. Um, you can light a pig on fire, let it sit there and burn for about 20 minutes, and then cut through its thick ass hide. And you, you didn't even come close to cooking that bitch. So, ain't nothing fast about pigs, man, as far as cooking them. They ain't nothing fast. And if you have pieces of them, you can cook them pretty quick. But you have a big ass hog. And you fucking light them on fire. Like I saw this video where they're lighting them on fire so they could scrape off the hair. You know, because they got this thick ass hair that comes off their their uh, their hide. And their hide is thick as shit, too. It's crazy. Uh, let's see. Heath was going to check it out the other night, but got outvoted by my girl. Uh, which, which, which show did you get outvoted? Blood Drive or American Gods, Heath? Just curious. So we got four minutes left, guys. We tore through this fucking episode. It was... Sorry it was late, but like I said, I got family in town. We were out. We had to deal with con- uh, content with traffic and shit like that. But I said, I told my wife, no matter what, I got to get the shit out. Man, I'm telling you, American Gods is pretty crazy. And there are some parts in that fucking show that make you go, like, what? You know what I'm saying? Shadow Moon character is really interesting, dude. Exactly. Exactly. Squeal, squeal, squeal. Oh, dude, you're making reference to some shit that's fucked up right there, Roy. <laughs> you got a pretty mouth, son. <laughs> uh, mortar rounds, cook a motherfucking... Yeah, two... Well, yeah, but you're not, you're, now you got crispy critter to cook if you can find the fucking... Uh, um, find the thing. Well, okay, look now. FPS Russia, if that's not fair, you're using a flamethrower that, that, that's got some accelerant built into it. It's not just regular fire fire and fps russia man whatever happened to that fucking dude that dude used to drop some fucking great videos and i know a bunch of people in this camp died and some other shit but i haven't seen that dude do anything in forever which is too bad because he was he was a channel i really liked watching he was fun fucking dude that's right napalm the motherfucker yeah now but again now you're changing the flavor of the fucking pig right you know now it tastes like fucking Clorox fucking bleach and some other shit all burned into the skin and now it's all chemically and nasty and leech on. Yeah. Well, fucking, uh, you got to throw, if you want a good leech on, you got to dig a hole, throw the motherfucker in there, cover it up with leaves and shit and let it cook good for a while. And then you get some nice, good, crispy ass skin. Agent orange seasoning. Yeah, no, I'll pass on that. I like my, I like my pigs traditional. This, this is like, Look, uh, oh, you know what? Since we're talking about American gods, I'll end it. Uh, I'll end it with one more of my custom blades. And I have the spear here, too, so this is appropriate. I got two minutes to go, so let's do this here. So, we have here my wooden. Wooden blades, right? I got thought and memory, the two raven. Ta-da! Ta-da! Oh, what? Two blades! Oh, look! Oh, 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 oh. Fucking ravens, bitches! Two of the shred blades, interchangeable in the sheath setup. Pancake together. I use some Velcro to hold them all in. Throw a little bit of custom Chicago screws on there. Got some custom uh, pendants and stuff that I had to order and wait for like almost a month and a half. Booyah. Odin. Woden. These are the uh, ravens for Odin. Thought and, uh, thought and memory. Ta-da. We got wood to symbolize the tree of life. We've got cat's eye for Odin's eyes. Oh, yeah. This is a fun... A fun little project. So that's it. I'm now 59 minutes. We got 30 seconds left. I just want to say thank you guys very much. Tuning in on a Saturday. Warms my heart. Feel the love. (laughs) Uh, The spear is actually just um, is regular steel. I think this is... uh, I'm trying to remember what the steel is. The blade, uh, this one is the SCHSP1. So you can look that bad boy up 
and find out all the specs on it and stuff like that. But they've got some gnarly heads too. Anyway, I just wanted to say again, thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Appreciate you. Love you. You guys live life dugin and moonin. Exactly. That's it. You guys have a good time. Live life to the fullest. Be prepared. Think outside the box and all that jazz. And you guys be safe out there. All right, guys. I'm out.